Hello, friends. This is Congressman Patrick McHenry coming to you with an update from Washington. As you know, House Democrats narrowly forced through their health reform bill by a vote of 220 to 215, under the cover of a false promise by President Obama and the Democrat leadership that it would actually lower costs. On Monday, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services released a report that found that the House approved plan would in fact raise the cost of health care by $289 billion over the next 10 years. Additionally, it would cut Medicare by more than half a trillion dollars, jeopardizing access to care for beneficiaries and making it difficult for small businesses to continue to provide employee coverage. Unfortunately for the taxpayers, and especially for the Democrats who voted for this, the taxpayers are going to bear the brunt of this $1.3 trillion overhaul. And those that actually took the time to read the 2,000-page bill realize that it's going to drive costs up even further for those that don't have health care coverage, and all Americans. Rest assured that I will encourage my Senate colleagues to heed the warnings of this troubling report and continue to fight for real reform that our nation truly needs. Thank you for listening, and God bless.